Hello everyone, I'm back, and I'm here to do, do well, like a little demo type thing of the pens. So the first ones I'm going to do is the Tombow dual brush pens. They're the portrait palette, and according to their site, um, let's see, from left to right, peach. Blush, baby pink. It looks a bit less pinkish, but I'll wait to see how it, it right it uh blows out. Blush, pale cherry, and chocolate. So let me see how these are going to work. So of course I'm using the pen and ink. Sorry, give me a few minutes. Uh, someone's ringing my phone. Again. And I don't know the number. I hope y'all can hear me again. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't have to redo this video. But yes, so I'm using Pen and Ink Paper by Art Alternatives. Alternatives. So I'm right-handed, so I'm going to switch hands real quick. Darn it. There we go. So I'm going to start with... I'm going to use both sides of the tips. Because one's brush and one's fine tip. So this is, I believe... The brush. Ooh, ooh, no, no, no. Here it is. Looks like a yellowish tint, but that's what it looks like in the brush. This looks. I never used brush tip. Well, no, that's a lie. I think some of the kids' markers that I used as a kid it was like that. Oh, come on. Sorry, the pen is now the side. The pen. The marker's fighting me. There we go. I don't think I used those type of ends before. I know these I'm from. Oops. These I'm familiar with. Because I've seen these when I was a kid. So you see there's a slight difference. Based on the tips. So that was peach. Hopefully that's not right. Yeah, that was peach. Like I had to look up the names online because it's not written anywhere on the mark or on the marker. And it just gives you the number since they sell them individually. Sorry, I'm trying to move to make myself comfortable a little bit more. Here you go. So that's peach. Uh, I'm going in order. Oh, come on. I'm right handed in this. <laughs> That's what I get. Sorry, so if I'm moving the cameras a little bit, I'm taking this off. I don't like biting the tips of markers and pens for various reasons. So, this is flush. So, I'm just going to put them side by side. There's that. Like the bright light is making it appear a di <laughs> different color. And these are also self-cleaning, which is awesome. They are order, order, orderless because I don't smell anything. And there's the here's the other side. Here's the fine tip. I actually cannot wait to use these. Actually, when I'm done, I should just take them out. Because, <laughs> like I said, I was so excited to see these. I was so excited to see these when I opened the box. I'm like, yes. Oh, sorry if the camera's not a little funky. Nope, get off of that. No. Oh, screw it. What 
wish they would make this easier to open one handed. There we go. So if I move around a lot, I'm sorry. These are kind of tricky to open one handed until I'm used to them. In case any of you wondering why I'm writing a D, that's the letter of my first name. Hmm. First name. And I have writing in cursive. Like, they're trying to get people not to put cursive in schools anymore, which I think is not good. True, not, not many people write in cursive, but it's easy. Most places are enforcing you need to write your name in cursive instead of print for like safety reasons. And each person writes your name in cursive differently. You know, I broke my own rule about using my mouth to open the tops. I'm at the screw it point of level because this is going to be hard to do it one handed to an extent. Um, and the next one is. Okay, I just did baby pink. The next one is blush. Seem like if it's slightly darker, like darker colors, I can like it'll pop out more to me. I could be wrong because I'm trying not to put too much pressure on it. I think my D's are not gonna all be nice and neat, so I accept that because I don't have quote quote good handwriting. And ooh, my arm's in the way. Okay, this is pale cherry. What time did you say you had to be the one? Sorry for that pause, and I'm back. So the last one we have here is chocolate. I can get used to these. Ooh, ooh, come on. Come on, stay down. Stay down. It's nice. And I lost and I lost the damn thing. Ah oh, crap, I messed up. <laughs> I missed the marker. Let me finish chocolate. <laughs> I knew I had a marker in my hand, I wasn't paying attention. Sorry my mom was asking me about this um box of paying thirty like almost thirty five dollars. $35 for this, which I think is worth it because if you go around, shop around, and add all the prices up, it makes sense. And I think this one's, oh, I didn't do this one. Let's see. That's one blush. This should be cherry. Yes, pale cherry. So this one's pale cherry. Ooh. I expected to be a little more reddish, but I could be wrong. This cherry is like a nice, it's one of my favorite reds. I wear makeup too, and it's one of my favorite reds. That shouldn't, that, when you have a perfect cherry red lipstick, it looks like a cherry. So, let me put these up here. So here's all of it. Um, these, oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, these two need to be switched. But yeah. So. So again, this is Pale Cherry Chocolate. That's Blush, Baby Pink, Flesh, and Peach. Let me see if you can get a good. Like, Baby Pink is pale. It's the palest one. So you can see the pink, but you can tell it's pale as crap. So there are those. And if you can't identify these, you can probably go on their website, type in the number, and it should tell you which one it is. I have to go in there. I want to get the gray tone, because the gray tone looks nice. Okay, so there's that. And the next one's Pigment Sensei. So we're going to do 
all five of those. Sorry, I'm trying to like bend the book. I'm messing my ability so I won't mess up. Mess up. Come on, focus. Focus, damn it. Focus. Sorry. There'll be times where I'll curse a little bit. I'll try to keep that to the minimum. But right now, because, um, what was I saying? So the first one of the is going to be the three, 0.3 mm. Oop, no. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. This is easier. Oh, this is much easier. He was like, someone's going to say, oh, it's supposed to be. No, it's not. <laughs> Sometimes opening a pen with one hand is a pain in the ass. And this is me not looking at the paper. I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> I am so sorry. And it also lists... Come on. It also lists the mm measurement on here. What's that? And then this one's... Come on. I believe this is 10. It's 10. Well, 1.0. Let me put it that way, not 10. 1. Oh. Let me do this with... Let me do this while looking at the paper. There we go. That's how that writes. I like how this is easier to open than the freaking markers. <laughs> so the markers like, you know what? You're going to have to use your mouth. I'm like, why? Markers, why? The next one is... Come on. Come on. Focus, don't you? Sorry, the gold parts are hitting you in the face. 0.6. Um, these are nice. So, like, that you could do lining with these as well. At least they, on a book that shows you the various forms. You know, this is a manga drawing set. Oops. 0.4. Manga drawing set. I believe. I believe you can use these for other things. Sorry if I'm a little too silent. And the last thing is the pencil with mechanical type pencil, which is 0.7, which I don't think they have should be on here somewhere. Here we go. Whoops. There we go. And I'm not going to put that much lid in there because sometimes mechanical pencils hate me. Ooh. That. The pencil rolled very smoothly. That's very smooth. I'm not going to. Comes with an eraser too, but I'm going to save that when I actually have to use it. That wrote. That. That came out very smooth. So here's everything I got in this box. The for February's plentiful packs. Now, like I said, mentioned in my previous video, if you brought elsewhere, elsewhere, like these items separate, um, if you get them in store, and if they have a coupon, it might be, it probably will be cheaper, but it depends. If this if it's not part of the um, exclusions, but um, if you get them online, it'll probably be either regular usual price that you see in store or a diff slightly different price. But between how it's between like forty five plus to almost close to probably a little past sixty dollars, maybe sixty some dollars. That's if not including the shipping. If you get them online, this is worth it. I'm quite pleased with everything. Cannot wait to play with everything, cause the I like the tip, the brush tips of this, cause it seems like it's easy, a little more thicker. Okay, now you see the pink. It's pale as a ghost. I do like these pens too, and that lid, 
I hope I can get replacement lead or a replacement pencil for that. Unless I used to lead up. Because that is a good sketching pencil. That's That was light. That was very light. So, once again, these are the items I got from Plentiful Packs. And again, I will put a link below to their website. You can check them out. I know you can get some of this stuff on their online store if they have anything left. Um, I'm not sure if they do boxes, like any remaining boxes that didn't go out for a subscription or not. Because I know Our Snacks does something similar to, um, similar to if they have any boxes left, they'll put it up for um, on their website for sale. I'm not sure if they do it here or not. And I think they're newish to an extent. So yeah. Hope everyone has a good night. Well, good night. Afternoon, evening, afternoon, day, or an or day, and I will be posting a video, a vlog. You might might not see my face um, soonish. Hopefully, once I can get a tripod. Otherwise, I'm just going to either use my pinhead Funko or my nephew's little um, jack o' lantern cup he got for Halloween as a face stand. Until I get, until I feel like okay to show my face a little bit. Um, so, yeah, because it's going to be a response towards Becca Hilburn's, um, well, not a response, like an influence, influenced by um, Becca Hilburn's um, vlog about art. Um, correct, now I can't remember the name of it. It's basically about positive positive impact impacts that influence your you as an artist that's the basics I can put up and also some bit of art and education so I might do it after I load this up so I hope everyone's having fun times and I'll see you next time bye